Hello everyone, I'm Miguel, and nope, I'm not the llama, and this is via Stream 1.0, the app you didn't actually know you needed. Are you one of those people that simply has too many streaming subscriptions? Yeah, me too. And I was literally home thinking about watching something and spent way too much time trying to find out where it could be streamed from. So, being the developer I am not, I decided to code an app that would do that for me. When it comes to the development of the app, uh, the front end was built in React and the back end is coded in Express. Um, the whole styling is in SAS and there's even an SVG in the nav bar that I created and animated using GSAP. Okay, so moving to the app itself, when you get to the home page, you'll have three options. The first two allow you to narrate your results to either a movie or a TV show. And the last option is an algorithm to help you decide the streaming service you can now live without in this, you know, poor and precedent times where everyone seems to be in the front line. You're very welcome. Both movie and the TV show search pages are similar and the instructions are pretty clear, really. Uh, you type the name of the movie, uh, which in this case would be Star Wars, and the front end will then make an access call to the back end, which will then connect with another two live third-party APIs that will provide the results that you can see displayed. There is initially the title, the year of the release, and just a quick view of its current providers, just in case you don't want to go any deep into details. However, if you like more info, if you're that kind of person, you just click on this button and you'll find some extra content info as well as a table which has the prices, the streaming service, streaming quality, and the type of offer, which can be buy, stream, or rent. The same kind of works for the series as well, and let's test it with friends, because who doesn't love friends, right? And if you don't, please leave. Um, and you can see it's exactly the same kind of details you have for a movie title. So finally, um, the third and last page will be the one that will save your finances, let's face it. So the instructions are quite self-explanatory as well. You select 10 of the following titles and you kind of get your answer as well. Uh, you just need to like press a button and it will display which of the um, subscriptions will be more suitable for your needs. Uh, I'm just randomly selecting some, so don't judge my choices. Yep, so that's pretty much it. And then basically as an add-on, um, the web page was completely built um, in a mobile setting, so everything should work perfectly and the design is slightly more consistent as well. So I'm just going to do a quick search for one of the classics that everyone tends to love. So Harry Potter, and as you can see, the grid display is completely different from what you have, although it's the same information from the desktop. So the app has been deployed in the website that has been displayed. Um, so please go and click as many times as you want and break it and whatever you want, but click so I can get some money out of it. Thank you.